All right, guys, back here at uh, Fort Meade with our partner Ray Cruz. Uh, we're going to work a few more uh, techniques. I think you've got a scissor choke show us now. So uh, he caught me with this earlier. He's like, yeah, hey, I'm going to show you how I did this. Look at you just get along in the back Okay. So this is a choke. This is kind of my go-to choke that I use quite often, especially on bigger, stronger guys. Um, and it works pretty well. Uh, what, I, what I do here is start from head and, head and arm control. Very important to get head and arm control with your, with your cross base under here. Boom, get it tight. Now we, earlier we showed you the sweep. Okay, so that's the sweep of the bottom guy. I'll show you the attack of the top guy. What I like to do here is I don't like to start with this choke. I try to start with something else. Like I'll try to go for a head and arm, a north, north south choke. And then he'll defend. I'll go back and try to get this. I'll go to knee on belly. Make him think I'm going for something else, like an arm or something. And then what I'll do is I'll just sneak this hand in real quick. And get a gable grip. And then start the choke. I can take my knee off his belly. Slide it back for a real quick choke. Really nice. Really deadly choke, like old Judo choke straight across the Adams level, so you gotta be careful with the tap over. So see it again. Boom. Boom. Sneak it in. Extend. And all you're doing is just scissoring and let it come when you put your leg down, you let it all the way down. And it's a really quick choke. Right across the road. Nice. Thank you, Greg.